<laughs> oh, I'm about to tell y'all a secret. This is so dumb. Oh, speak when I'm gone. The day it's when I have It is Monday. Um, tell me why I spent all day yesterday trying to assemble my PAX unit that I got from Ikea and I literally could not. I literally couldn't do it on my own. Like I realized about three and a half hours into assembling it that it is a two person job, not a one person job. Me being me, I just try to do everything on my own. I literally don't want to ask anybody for help i don't know why i'm like that but like i'll be like nah i could do it like i'm a one woman show i could do that and i couldn't do it and it was very frustrating like i got really frustrated and just overall upset because all my clothes are like clean and folded and stuff and i was ready to just put them away some of them at least not all of them are going in the pack unit but some of them there is going to be drawers on the bottom and i couldn't do that so i was like frustrated but i ended up posting about it on my uh, close friends on Instagram and Shanice actually offered to come over and help me today to assemble it so I'm excited about that because but I'm also like the the pack suit is like a whole person taller than me it's like 92 inches tall like it's mad tall Shanice is little you know she like a little five two so I'm just like maybe maybe we could figure it out I don't know but we're gonna try it like at the end of the day we're gonna try it so that's what i'm gonna do um today i'm gonna be assembling my pax unit i'm about to take these boxes that i have here um downstairs to the trash can i'm gonna go and get starbucks because i just feel like i need a coffee like i feel like i need my brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso like i need that and i need a little something to go along with it because I don't have the time today, honestly. I don't have the time. Shanice is gonna be over here in like a half an hour, so yeah, I'm gonna go to Starbucks and I'll be right back. I just got back from Starbucks. I just got um, a sausage, cheddar, and egg, which I already started eating because I'm starving, and a grande iced brown sugar oat milk espresso, shaken espresso, light ice with vanilla sweet cold foam. So good. So I'm about to, um, I'm just gonna wait for Shanice to get here so that we can assemble this PAX unit. I know she said she'll be here in like a half an hour, but there's really no rush because the only thing, other thing I wanna do today is edit a video and it's gonna be like a really quick video to edit um, and go to the gym. So yeah, that's what my Monday's gonna be. Kind of, mm, there's, wow. That whole time I was talking and there was cold foam on my lip. Ugh! I'm doing laundry right now, which is probably like what you're hearing in the background. It's like really kind of loud actually. But you guys, I actually, I lied. I want to show you guys what I got from Ikea because I was supposed to show you my last week's vlog that it happens. So I'm going to show you what I got from Ikea. I'm going to do my little haul. back here ah. um oh chow i got a lot of little things so other than the pax unit itself i got four drawer three i got three drawers like enclosed drawers white drawers to go on the bottom i'm gonna actually hopefully i can find the photo but i'm gonna insert a photo of the pax unit that i built on their website and then when I went there, I just picked up all of the pieces. So I got three drawers for the PAX unit. And then I got a fourth drawer, but it's like a netted drawer. And then I got um, the other four items that I wanted to get for the PAX unit. They were sold out of, which was the shelves. They were sold out of all of the shelves. Like they didn't have the one. I wanted two with the glass um, bottom, like a see-through shelf for the top to like have my like really cute nice items up there and then i had a regular shelf like a white shelf and then i had a jewelry drawer that i was going to put all my accessories in because right now i don't have anywhere that my accessories live they're kind of just like all over the place 
and I also feel like that's why I can't I can never find them when I'm like getting dressed and like trying to put an outfit together so there's that but the this this piece right here is just for one of the doors so that's the first little thing um next I just got another floor towel floor rug I love these rugs from um, Ikea. I believe it was like $7 or ex inexpensive. They don't have like the rubber or plastic um, back. So I can put them in the wash and they can dry like normal. I feel like the ones that do have the rubber on the other side, you have to be careful because they'll start to peel over time. And then it'll get like in your, it'll get in your washing machine or in your dryer. And then every time you dry clothes, it'll be on other stuff, which is really annoying. So got one of these and I just got it in this gray color because you guys know my aesthetic for my apartment is, uh, the bathroom especially is gray and white and marble um because i have marble countertops everything is gray and white in there so yeah got that um i got two more packs of tea light candles i have about four of these in my cabinet currently um i always every time i go to ikea i always get more of them because they're really inexpensive but also it's like you can never have too many candles they smell really good these smell so good i believe this is pineapple and passion fruit and this one's raspberry and strawberry so really good got those um then i saw these really cute candles look at how pretty these are these paint candles so i don't know if you guys I don't think I've given you, honestly, I haven't given you a, a tour of this space yet, but um, my living space is like all of my accent furniture is like gold and then I have like hints of pink and purple um, in the space to kind of just like add a little bit more of like a feminine touch. I mean, the gold is pretty feminine on its own, but I don't know. I just saw these and I thought they were so cute. My mom actually like pointed them out. She was like, look at those candles. Those are so cute. Those look so cute in your apartment. So I was like, oh my gosh, yes. And they have like, um, the texture on the outside. Like, I don't even know if I'll ever burn these. I really feel like they're just going to be for display, like just for decor. Cause they're just so pretty. Like <laughs> the monochromatic. Yeah, I'm here for it. Um, then I went to the kitchen section and I needed um, a proper, a proper, I needed a proper um, strainer for like pasta and stuff because the one that I'm using is actually not a strainer. It's really a steamer um, attachment for my pots but i use it as like a strainer because it has the holes and it works the same i mean maybe it's dual purpose i don't know but i like this one better because it's rubber it's collapsible so it actually like you can use it you know like this if you just need a smaller one or if you need more space you know you just you know right there and then it expands and it has the long handle to hold it while i'm straining as opposed to the other one i have is like two really short handles so i feel like i'm always burning my fingers or like the steam is touching my fingers and it's really hot so yeah no but i really really liked this one so i grabbed this you know anything to just make like simple tasks a little bit easier like i'm all for it <laughs> um I got a masher, a potato masher. This is very necessary. I didn't have one of these and not my neighbor's dog doing all this. Like what, 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 what? Like relax, poppy, relax, tranquilo, please. Anyway, I didn't have one of these. Um, I was trying to mash potatoes with forks and it was not really like, it was just doing too much. Like it was hard. I, I would not recommend. So go one of these. The last two things that I got was a plastic cutting board. My mom was like, um, you're supposed to have a cutting board that's designated for poultry and meats um, to be cut on. And I have two plastic ones already and I have wood ones. The wood ones I use strictly for vegetables and fruit. I don't cut raw meat or anything on those, 
but she said you're supposed to have one specifically dedicated for that so i'm just going to dedicate this one as the meat and poultry cutting board it's plastic you know easy to wash super cheap like literally i don't even know everything in ikea is inexpensive the only thing i feel like is really like you know probably up there but still reasonably priced is the furniture itself like the bigger pieces but all of this stuff small stuff was like super cheap like i think all of the small stuff came out to like 45 dollars and then it was the furniture that i got for the pax unit like the drawers and stuff and the unit itself that was more expensive which made my total like 300 and something dollars so yeah and then the last thing i got was another roll of these rags um i'm sure you've seen in plenty of vlogs before but i like to use the rags to dry my hands i have ones to dry my hands i have ones to clean the counter i have ones to dry dishes i always kind of just grab a roll of these because you can never have too many and these are so cute because they're actually like a summer series so they have little fruit on them like the other ones i have are like plaid and checkered and striped but these actually have little images on them like look at the oranges and the lemons and the passion fruit that's passion fruit, right? Or is that, um, what's, that's passion fruit, isn't it? Dragon fruit. Girl, I don't know, whichever. <laughs> so I got, I got those, and yeah, that's everything that I got from Ikea, aside from the actual PAX unit. I wanted to get a mom dresser, but they were actually sold out of it. Um, I went to like the customer service and they were like, yeah, we're gonna restock it in about two to three days. And I was just like, uh, mm, well, that's unfortunate. So I'm not gonna be able to get that today, but I was able to get the pack unit, which I'm happy about. So I'll be able to put some of my clothes away. But with this new space, obviously I have a whole bedroom now. And the way that I had my clothes in my last apartment, everything was like folded on the shelves. This closet is a walk-in closet, but the shelves, there's a lot less shelves. So I was like, I'm gonna have to get some kind of bedroom furniture to actually store my clothes because I have a lot of like crop tops and, and little like shorts and, and workout clothes and like things that just need to be folded that really wouldn't get hung up. Um, all of the stuff that's hanging are like my dresses and I have like some jackets and coats and sweaters and hoodies and, and I have my denim like hanging on hangers but everything else is like pretty much needs to be folded and put away. So I still do want to get the dresser in there. Um, so I'm going to just wait to get that but I needed something to organize my room because right now my OCD is just like not really pleased with the way that it's set up like I'm struggling a little bit but it's okay we're gonna figure it out Shanice just texted me she's on the way she's walking over here she literally lives like three blocks away from me which is so cute and just so much fun like um <laughs> my bestie lives so close um no seriously yeah so she just let me know that she's on her way so i already swallowed my starbucks sandwich so i'm just gonna be sipping on my coffee until she gets here and then we're gonna figure that out i also have a package here that i don't know where it's from i think it's pr oh i forgot about this dang it kind of came beat up shit it's from Bang & Body. Hi Jasmine, we hope you love your new all-natural vegan cruelty-free skincare products. We can't wait to hear what you think. Um, best at Bang & Body. Ooh, so they sent me their hydrating facial cleanser. We have a firming lotion for the face and body and an illuminating firming lotion for the face and body as well. I'm gonna be trying these out. This is not sponsored, literally just sent me PR, but I'm gonna try them out and maybe I'll like them. I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, Shanice's gonna be here in two seconds, so. Hi! Me 
and Shanice assembled the giant PAX unit, right? And I tried to put it in my closet and it literally didn't fit. Like I took apart my entire wardrobe, my entire closet is in my room now, over my bed and all over the floor. Cause I was trying to get this big ass closet inside of my my closet and then i realized i was like this is like really big and i know i took very specific dimensions to make sure that everything would fit and i realized that they gave me the wrong size when i went to ikea they gave me so with the pax unit they have a 19 inch wide closet they have a 29 inch wide closet and then they have a 39 inch so it's like small medium large they gave me the large and i definitely ordered the medium and I can't return it now because not only did I assemble it and like scratch it up and, and all that shit, but I also threw out the box, like got rid of the box. Even if I didn't throw out the box, the way that I opened the box, it would have been like damn near impossible. It's just honestly very stressful. It's a hot ass mess. So I have to now remove. If you guys know anything about Ikea furniture, usually the back panel of the furniture is like this really thin, flat piece of wood, and then they use these little nails to just adhere to the back. So now I have to take these out in order to remove this back piece, take apart the closet, put it inside of my closet, and then reassemble it in there. I don't even know how that's gonna happen, but right now I'm just, that's what I'm doing. So I'm literally using a hammer, in a flathead and I'm like over here trying to, well, I'm like peeling it up and then pulling it out. So stupid, I'm really annoyed honestly because if they would've gave me the right size, I probably would've been able to fit it in because it would've been 10 inches shorter and yeah, it's just really annoying. So, but I kinda don't have a choice now. Like I've torn apart my closet I've already like assembled it. I kind of have to like complete it and just see what happens and like make it work because it is what it is. But that's what I'm doing right now. Ciao. This is, look at all the clothes on my bed. This is so dumb. taking it apart out here in my bedroom and then reassembling it in the closet so I was able to get it to fit. Look at it. I got a little bit of space on the top and I have a little bit of space on the side. Honestly, this, this was not the size that I was supposed to get. I was supposed to get the 29, which just meant that it would have come in a little bit um, more this way like it would have been a little shorter it would have been 10 inches shorter width wise and it I think it's not as deep also I think it would have been a little a little bit um, less in the depth of it but it still fits I just have to assemble the shelves now for this um, not the shelves I'm sorry I don't have the shelves I have to assemble the drawers I'm literally like, I'm sweating so bad. Shout out to Shanice for coming over and helping me because literally, I don't know what I would have done if I did not have her help. That, it was, it, it's not even that it was a two person job because of the actual assembly of the PAX unit. Like, it wasn't hard to put together. 
the most time consuming thing was the fact that we had to take it apart but it's the weight of it and the size of it because it's so tall like you can't manage it on your own as like one person so shout out to Shanice man she held it down and she brought the right tools over <laughs> so love that um but yeah I'm about to assemble these drawers and put them in so I can start putting these clothes away because all my clothes are all over the place right now and it's just driving me crazy so yeah Okay, so I got all of my drawers in. So I have three of the solid white drawers and then I have one basket drawer. Um, and then the rest that I wanted to do were shelves, but they have they were actually sold out of shelves. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but they didn't have any of the shelves in stock. They didn't have the glass shelves in stock or the solid white ones. Um, so I wasn't able to get those. And then my plan is to have a jewelry shelf here so it's going to be like a a shelf but it's going to slide out and it'll have like the compartments for all of my accessories and my jewelry it's kind of hard to fit the whole thing in 
camera but that's what it looks like I'm actually so pleased with the way that it turned out like even though it's a little big I'm still very happy with it um, now I just have to put my clothes away like I literally have all of these clothes on my bed that need to get put up the clothes have to go back on the rod on the hanger all the clothes on their hangers so that's what i'm about to do right now okay so i finished putting all my stuff in my closet and now i'm eating dinner i'm eating one of my meal preps so this is just the steak from yesterday the the skirt steak um with carrots and broccoli and white basmati rice well i don't think basmati rice comes brown so just basmati rice but focus on me yes yeah, so that's what i'm doing right now i have clothes on my couch that i need to fold well it's not really clothes it's like bathroom stuff like towels and stuff i gotta put my fresh sheets that i washed on my bed and yeah that's it that's all that i'm doing for the rest of the night i'm not doing nothing else i feel like i've been cleaning and assembling shit all day i'm tired so i'll see you guys in the morning good afternoon vloggy vlog ah! <laughs> it is tuesday i just got back from the gym look at me i'm looking all snatched hold on let me look at me looking all snatched and whatnot oh today was back day and i did abs so i did upper body and abs um yeah so i just got back from the gym i'm feeling very good i'm feeling very fit i actually just made myself a protein shake that i'm about to drink and then i have a youtube video that i want to film and i have two tiktoks to finish as well hopefully i can get both of the tiktoks done maybe i'll only be able to get one of them done but yeah that's what's on today's agenda it's going to be a content filled day it is the afternoon i know i didn't say good morning because it's actually like what time is it damn it's 4 30 but i've been up since like 8 but i was editing a video this morning oh i did have my empty apartment tour video go up today which i'm so excited about you guys are absolutely loving that video like i think i had like a thousand views in like an hour in under an hour which is like a lot then <laughs> it doesn't usually move that fast so you guys are on it today um i've been hella consistent with all of my uploads which i'm really happy about so glad that the video is going well i posted on instagram that's doing well everything's just going well ah! <laughs> um but yeah i'm on the phone with chinese actually she can't hear me but so yeah i'm about to drink this protein shake shower and get this content in baby oh <gasps> Vloggy vlog, happy Wednesday. <laughs> I don't know why. Actually, I think it was the weather. I woke up today and it's just very gray and cloudy and overcast and gloomy in LA. And I just wasn't in the mood to do anything. Like literally, I did do some emailing this morning. My last couple of uploads are doing really well. So I was responding to comments um on youtube all morning but then i was just kind of like on the phone chatting and doing nothing like i just didn't feel like doing anything <laughs> and then i'm scrolling on instagram and i'm and i've started to follow more like fitness girls and just people that work out because i want the motivation um when i'm scrolling down my instagram feed so I just kept seeing people like in the gym, going to the gym, on their story at the gym working out. I'm like, you know what, girl, you need to go to the gym. Like, you've been consistent, don't fall off now. Today is not a rest day. Tomorrow could be a rest day low key because I think if I work out today, I worked out yesterday and I think I worked out the day before, but I don't remember. Actually, I think I took Sunday and Monday off. So I should work out, I worked out Tuesday. I should work out today and I should work out tomorrow and take off Friday, which is what I'm gonna do. I'll take off Friday and Saturday. Saturday and then I'll be back in the gym on Sunday. So yeah, I haven't done anything, but I did just put my workout clothes on and I was just like, oh girl, you look real fit, you look real cute, okay? Get your ass in the gym. So that's what I'm about to go do. And I think I'm gonna actually bring you guys with me. Um, hopefully there's not a lot of people down there. Hopefully, I don't know. I just be feeling like that's the one place that I feel really awkward working out. I mean, um, vlogging myself in public is when I'm working out in the gym, like, cause I don't know. I just feel like people probably be like, why is she recording herself working out? No, they probably know why, like once they see the camera, but they're just like looking. People just be staring, you know? Oh, I did book my lash appointment for tomorrow because look at my lashes. 
Look at your lasers. They look horrendous. Let's go to the gym together. Oh, let's go to the gym. Let's get a little workout in. Um, and then let's get our pizza. <laughs> from the supermarket I got I should have brought two reusable bags I brought one because I was like oh I'm not gonna get a lot of stuff <laughs> look at what I got so I told you I was gonna get pizza I said I was gonna get a California pizza kitchen but <laughs> private selection was on sale it was um, two for twelve dollars so that makes them six dollars each and I've had both of these pizzas and they're so freaking good yo French goat cheese and marinated vegetable. This one is fire! It's veg it's like veggies, like sauteed roasted veggies and goat cheese pizza. Like it's so freaking good for six dollars. Like, come on. 
And then this one I got is Italian buffalo mozzarella and arugula. So this is another meatless pizza. I honestly was gonna get one with meat on it. I told you I was gonna get the barbecue chicken from the other brand, but I saw these and I saw that they were on sale and I was like, ding, 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 ding. So that's what I got. I'm gonna make one of those pizzas tonight because I don't feel like actually cooking anything. I finished my protein shake, by the way, that you guys saw me get before I went to the supermarket. I've done that because I actually didn't have enough free hands to carry the protein shake. I have my camera, my purses are on me. I had this bag and then I had the gallon of water and then I had another shopping bag. So I was just like, there was too much stuff. So I had to chug that. But anyway, then I was walking past, like, when you go into Ralph's, they usually have, like, towards the front of the supermarket, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they'll have, like, an area with, like, the stuff that's on sale that week. And they had Cliff Bars on sale. And I really like Cliff Bars. You know, it's a little energy bar. It has 9 grams of protein. So I like to eat these. Like, I'll eat one before the gym. I eat them. I'll eat one before I go on a hike. Like, basically... You know, anytime you need energy, if you don't really want to eat like a meal, I feel like this is low-key kind of filling. It's a very filling energy bar. Um, so yeah, I got blueberry crisp. And then they had coconut waters on sale. This brand, Simple Truth Organic, these coconut waters were $2.49 each. So I got four of them because I was like, ooh, I love coconut water. I love coconut water and it's really good in smoothies and this is also good to drink before the gym too uh, it like has good electrolytes in it and it replenishes you it gives you energy so and then I got a little um, Caesar salad chopped kit so I have stopped buying like vegetables like like a full pack of kale or like a full pack of romaine because it always goes to waste like I'm literally one person I don't eat salad every single day so it's like I always end up throwing out some of the the leafy greens like I always end up throwing it out and I feel bad because I'm just like it's going to waste so I'd rather just spend three to four dollars on like an individual salad kit this will probably make like one really big salad or like two smaller salads, two medium sized salads, and I'll just grill chicken and then eat it with this. Um, I'd rather do that than buying like a bag of kale and then buying all of the individual like toppings and stuff because it always just goes to waste. Like I never finish it. And then, ooh, I saw that they had these Sargento balanced breaks. Hold on, let me show you. Sargento Balanced Breaks like snack packs. So you get three, right? Yeah, you get three snack packs. This one is pepper jack, cheese, honey roasted peanuts, and raisins. I love all of those things. And this one is Monterey Jack and mild cheddar cheese, wheat, and wheat thins. I love, I'm, I stay in cheese and wheat thins. I got a box of wheat thins right now that I actually just finished like last night. It, there's a little bit left, but I got a box of wheat thins in my in my cabinet right now and I got cheese. So I thought that was cool. Like, you know, a little snack pack. These were also on sale, which is why I got them. I think it was two for six dollars. And then I wanted um, cinnamon raisin bread. I was making breakfast this morning. I made myself a uh, bacon egg and cheese on like slice of bread. And I was like, hmm, this would taste really good if it was on cinnamon raisin bread. So I got cinnamon raisin bread. And then, well, I was kind of excited about this. Well, I got some more bananas, you know, for smoothies. And then I got, I was really excited about this, okay? I, I was gonna get regular um, cold brew black coffee to make like iced coffee every day because I kind of want to get back into drinking iced coffee every day. When I was drinking iced coffee every day, I felt like one, my bowel movements was hella like, um, What's the word? I had very regular bowel movements. I know this is a low TMI, but it's good for you. You know, it's not, coffee is a natural laxative. Like literally it's supposed to make you do that. So when I was drinking my little Starbucks, I was getting my iced coffee and stuff. Cause it was like right by my place, my old place. Like I literally used to use the bathroom very like on time, like every day. And I would just look so skinny afterwards. And I just really liked that. Like. I really, but that's not the main reason why I want to start drinking coffee again. I do want to start drinking coffee also just because I need a little energy boost. And I saw this cold brew from Stoke, but it has protein in it. Girl, I didn't even know. 
I didn't even know they did that. This is low and slow, smooth and taste, stoke protein with 16 grams of protein. Espresso, oh, it's already creamed. That's why it has 16 grams. Well, it doesn't matter, I'm still gonna add. I thought it was black coffee, but it's not. But that's fine too, because I got a creamer. And the creamer I got, y'all know how I feel about my um, Starbucks drink. What is it? The brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso, ice shaken espresso. I got this um, oat milk creamer, coffee creamer, and it's brown sugar flavored. It says all natural plant-based oat milk creamer from Natural Bliss. And it's brown sugar flavored. So I'm going to do those two together it's gonna taste so good i just know it i know it's gonna taste good a life water because it was on sale and i like the bottle i'm probably gonna bring this to the gym tomorrow it's kind of cute it's ph balance water i do i do really really love ph balance water so if there's any ph balance water brands out there that's watching this that wants to sponsor your girl hit me up you know slide in them emails okay and that's everything that i got from the supermarket so i'm gonna put it away <laughs> Let me pause this actually. I'm watching um, the last season, the farewell season of Keeping Up. But I'm about to make this pizza. I've got the, which one am I making? The French goat cheese and marinated veggies pizza. I'm gonna make it. I preheated my oven to 420. No plastic, please. Yummy. And it only has to be in there for like 12 minutes, I think. Okay, so I took the pizza out of the oven. Ooh, look at how good this looks. Roasted veggies, goat cheese, like, come on now. Seriously, what is wrong with me? Why don't I own a pizza cutter? I've been saying this for a year. Oh, this looks so good. I'm so hungry too. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, so I'm gonna eat my pizza. I'm gonna finish watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. And I'm gonna go to bed kind of early tonight. I have a early lash appointment in the morning, so I don't want to stay up too late and then like not wake up in time. So I'm not gonna be up super late, but I'm gonna eat my pizza. I have a little honest tea here. You know, this is like a little sweet treat for me. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the morning before I head to my lash appointment. Good night. Good morning, vloggy vlog. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday. Um, good morning. I'm about to head to my, my lash appointment. My lash appointment is in 20 minutes, 9.40. It's 9.40 right now. I've been up since like 7 something. I was actually on the phone with AT&T this morning because that's the internet that I have. And... Um, that was because I had to like troubleshoot. My internet stopped working last night, so I had to call them this morning because there was no live chat available, whatever. Anyway, I've been up since like seven. And I just have on this really cute little um, set. It's like shorts and a matching little bralette. Um, and then I have on my white Yeezys. And yeah, and my little um, jean jacket from Forever 21. Yeah, I'm about to go get my lashes filled because, honey, look at them. That's why I got the hat on because I'm just like. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go to my lash appointment. I just got to my lash appointment. This is the before, okay? You see how bald they are? Yeah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she gonna get me right, ready? My lashes are done. Look at how pretty. They look so good. Thank you. <laughs> Is it better? Is it still ready? Hi guys, I'm back home. I got my lashes filled. I have my lash text um, Instagram in the description box for anybody that's in LA. Um, but yeah, I get a mega volume set. So this is the mega volume. <laughs> um, and now I'm about to wax, but I'm not doing like a whole video on it. I was going to do a whole video on it, but honestly, I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. I went to CVS and I got 
a lidocaine pain relief roll on lidocaine i was watching tiara monet's story um a couple days or weeks ago i don't remember when i saw it but it was on her story and she's talking about how she was going to get a brazilian and how she applies lidocaine before she goes to her appointment her wax appointment and it doesn't hurt as bad like obviously it probably still be pain but she says that it does a really good job of basically saying that it helps so i was like you know what i'm gonna try it because the last time i attempted to wax my kitty cat <laughs> no the last time i attempted to wax um a brazilian was when i recorded it for youtube and <laughs> a million people saw it so i was like mm, i don't know if i want to do it again this time because i don't know i feel like people are gonna be like i feel like that's what they're waiting on <laughs> Ciao. <sighs> anyway, um, I'm about to do this. But first, I have to do my armpits, and I'm gonna do my face, and then we'll leave the kitty cat filets. Yeah, let me just quickly wax, and I'll see you when these pits are no longer hairy. Okay, so I finished all of my prep. Um, I don't think I told you guys this earlier, but Bay is actually coming to town. <laughs> um, so. I needed to get like, you know, cute, cute for Beto. Nothing crazy. I don't have no makeup on. So I did my nighttime skincare routine. I washed my hair. I deep conditioned in the shower. I put oils on it when I got out and I just slicked it back into this little bun. I did my skincare routine and then I waxed. I did a full body wax. So every area of my body I waxed, except for my legs. I shaved my legs in the shower because I don't, I don't wax my legs because I have like very little hair that actually grows on my legs. So I don't feel like it's necessary. I feel like it would be kind of wasteful if i was waxing when i could just shave and my leg hair grows back super slow that's the only place on my body where it grows back super slow everywhere else it want to grow back at like an inch a second so i did all of that and i'm ready i'm ready to see bail <laughs> um no but i'm also ready for bed i ate my leftover pizza i think i'm gonna make a salad right now a chicken salad i'm gonna grow some chicken on the stove yeah i'm thinking about making this caesar salad kit but i also need to do the dishes so i'm gonna do the dishes first like load them into the dishwasher and then i'm gonna see if i'm in the mood to make a chicken salad but i would just grow some chicken and then throw that caesar salad kit together and that would be that but i'm also like not that hungry let's get into the skin just for a second oh yes yes i have some scarring that i'm trying to like lighten but other than that yeah mm-hmm 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 i wanted to show you guys this really cute underwear lingerie set that i'm wearing it's a yellow one from savage x fenty and i'm wearing my savage x fenty robe and like i can't show you the whole thing obviously but it's a little a little yellow <laughs> um and then there's like exposed under boob for the bra the little lace bra and then it has this little cute i don't even know what that's called but actually but this was in a haul oh it was in a pack with me i was packing for tulum i've had this for a minute but i actually haven't worn it and i even have i haven't taken any pictures in it either oh i'm doing laundry by the way <laughs> um which is what that noise is yeah this i just feel so cute right now like i feel really cute like i feel so cute <laughs> love that for me i made my salad the chicken is literally steaming off the grill yummy little caesar salad and i'm watching keeping up because of her robbery obviously my fears or anxiety are way different than kim's but i get that you almost like fear for the worst and you just Good morning, vloggy vlog. Happy Friday. It's Friday. I almost forgot what day of the week it was. I just got like dressed. I just threw on some clothes. I'm about to go pick up panini kebab grill. You guys know that's my favorite. I got literally the same thing that I always get. I'm missing three fingernails. So I need to do my nails at some point. 
this weekend or next week. I don't even know. I have on um, that chocolate bodysuit from Forever 21. This is what I'm wearing today. Maybe I should go to the gym. I'm not gonna go to the gym. Yeah, so like I was saying, my camera died actually, but I'm going to pick up my food from Hanini Kebab Grill. I'm so hungry. Hi. Okay, so I actually came up to the roof to eat my lunch. Um, but everything is like in direct sunlight. So I'm like, do I wanna sit here? Like, do I actually? The skin is skinning though. The skincare routine, it's giving honey. Um, so I just got my usual, you know, garbanzo, hummus, and pita bread. I got my side Caesar salad and um, my, my sandwich is in there. Well, that's my salad and my sandwich. I needed to move. That seat was not doing it for me. Sometimes you just gotta come sit outside and like get some sun. This hummus and pita bread. Oh, wow. I tried buying pita bread and store-bought hummus from Rouse because I love this so much. Like I could snack on this like every single day all day long. I don't know why, like I never get tired of the flavor. But it's just not the same. Like I don't know. This this is obviously homemade hummus. Whatever they put into this shit it is addicting. Y'all like my pink New York fitted? <laughs> Yo girl. I was giving very much BK girl. <laughs> oh, I'm about to tell y'all a secret. My um my aim <laughs> my aim username used to be BK girl B K G U R L L two five nine seven. That's my birthday, February fifth, nineteen ninety seven. That was my aim. That was my aim username. <laughs> <laughs> hey you guys this angle is kind of weird not gonna lie i'm back inside i have to get ready for dinner um and then Bay said he wanted to take me out to dinner he's very excited <laughs> to take me out to dinner apparently so that's what i'm about to get ready for can you believe that he requested me to put on a pink wig like that's how you know <laughs> But I'm not doing that. Like, I actually don't want to put on a pink wig at all. I do have this really cute blonde wig that I've been wanting to wear. But I don't know. Like, do I want to be a blondie? I low-key do want to be a blondie. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put a wig on. <laughs> I'm going to put a wig on. And I'll be right back. All right. I just finished getting ready. I don't know why I'm just not feeling my makeup. I just feel like, I don't know, it, it's cute, but like, it's not like, there's no like pop, no pizzazz. And then my nails are broken. This is so ratchet, like I can't, like it, I got one, I got one missing on that hand and then I got three on this. Yeah, no. I mean, the makeup is cute. The hair, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm just like, eh, eh. I don't feel like, that girl you know i got this little dress on that i kind of wear all the time um and look at all the shit in the background <laughs> i'm thinking about wearing my bottegas because they're a nude heel and they would go with this really well i think i'm gonna wear my bottegas pretty sure i'm gonna wear my bottega heels i just keep going over my hair because i feel like it looks Frizzy. This hair, oh my god, I tried to wand curl it. I think my wand, I think my wand curler, I think it's dead. You know like how um, tools die, like hair tools die? They just stop working like the way that they used to. They don't get as hot, they don't do as good of a job, or they just like, yeah, they literally just don't get as hot. My wand curler, like I, I realized when I was doing my hair and it was doing such a terrible job at curling it, I was like, I've had this wand curler for like, maybe like six or seven years. I think I got it like the year after I graduated high school. I also know I said that I was thinking about doing blonde. Yeah, I didn't have time for that because I realized I had to customize that wig. 
didn't have time i'm already kind of running late so i've got a little bit of time which is why i'm vlogging now i do need to put on my fragrance so earlier i was wearing my replica but i'm actually going to put on my ysl black opium so i'm going to dinner <sighs> i don't know i just feel so blah like do you ever just like in retrospect probably me watching this back there's actually nothing wrong with what i'm wearing or my makeup or anything but i just don't feel cute like i don't know you know it is what it is at the end of the day it's definitely the no baby hairs i feel bald like look at how bald i look but i'm cute though <laughs> i'm kind of cute though <laughs> okay so i decided you can't even see my freaking feet um yeah like i said i'm wearing this little champagne gold dress that's the outfit um booty and then for my bag i just have this little wooden bag from zara that i absolutely love it does have gold hardware so i just feel like it goes with the dress really well so i'm wearing my bottega sandals and i have my inklets on yeah so i'm just waiting on my ride and i'll see you guys at dinner Hey, hardly here. I've been doing my own thing. I just ain't got time to wait. So that we can sit there. Is it gonna do it? Maybe like Martin Jean. OG, you ever seen that girl?